Hi! In this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can manipulate materials on loaded GLTF files. If you haven't seen the tutorial on how to load GLTF files, please do that first. So before getting into the materials, uh, I want to have the cake spinning a little bit so it's easier to see what happens. And now it's spinning slightly. Let's start by looking at the albedo values. That's essentially the color. And this one has a texture from the GLTF file. That's what decides the color of the surface of the material. But we can override it by selecting yes and then setting a fixed color which will then apply to the whole surface, like so. In addition to setting a uniform value of the whole surface, you can also connect your own texture, which will then override the texture in the GLTF. This is really cool, because you can use the legacy rendering to generate textures on the fly for this. This here blob module is also a generated texture and we can set its color to illustrate that it's working like that. But let's put it back to static for now so we can play with the other values. The normal map has no override color because that makes no sense. That should be a texture, but you can override it by connecting a texture to it. Here we override the roughness, roughness value of the material. And finally also metalness, so you can control both of those as solid colors for the whole object. And the higher the metalness, the more like metal it will look. And reducing roughness will make the material more reflective. Note that both of those values go between 0 and 1. And this is how albedo plays in. So you can play around with these values and uh, essentially get a feel for how physically based rendering materials work in here as well. Then there's emission, which is not really in PBR. Uh, but we have it, so in this case um, it really doesn't make much sense because the model isn't UV mapped for it, but you can still do it. And since the texture here is a blob, the emission isn't evenly distributed across the object. But if you design for emission, you can still do lots of cool effects. And they glow with bloom and is affected by screen space reflections and everything else as part of the rendering pipeline. So now let's uh, reset everything back to normal. And then that's actually all for this tutorial. See you. Take care. Bye.